Hey, welcome everybody. Today we're gonna to build an Android app together. So the first thing we need is Android Studio. So go ahead and go to Google or your search engine and search for Android Studio and you can click on the first result from developer.android.com and this is available for free for Windows, Mac, or Linux, so go ahead and download it. That's the first thing you're gonna need. So I actually already have it installed, so I'll get rid of that. And once you have installed Android Studio, and it might take a few minutes because I think it's over a gigabyte. I think it's like, yeah, it's about a gigabyte, so it may take a little bit to download depending upon where you are. But once you have it installed, go ahead and open this up, and you'll see I have a couple of projects there. You won't see those because you're new, but those are other projects I've been working on. So let's go ahead and do start a new Android Studio project. Now for this, let's go ahead and select basic activity, hit next, and then here we can type out the name of our application. So we'll call this um, first game. So first game, and if you don't have a, a package name, you can put com.example. It's kind of like your domain name backwards, so com, and then example, and then first game. That can be anything really, just put some com.example is fine. Um, okay, so this is where it's gonna be saved, that's fine. Make sure this says Kotlin, and let's hit finish. And this should open up our project inside of Android Studio. So give it a couple of minutes, it may take a little bit of time to build, because the first time you open up Android Studio or create a project is, it goes into Gradle and starts building all of your projects and getting all their stuff together. So just wait a couple of minutes while this happens and I think it might have finished. You can see in the bottom right it has progress there, and it looks like it's done. Now Android Studio is a bunch of different panes you can open and close. So kind of like uh, there's the text mode there, design mode, you can like open and close stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and close this bottom thing because we don't need it, and you can see here's our app right now. So it just says, hello world. And on the left, you'll notice we have a project where we go, and I'd select Android there and make sure project is open. And you can kind of open and close these. So there's resources, layouts, content main. If you double click on one of them, it opens up here in the main panel. Okay, cool. So the first two files that are gonna be open for you by default will be content main.xml and main activity. These are kind of two tabs that you can like switch switch between to do stuff. Um, this is kind of our layout, and this is kind of our Kotlin code there. So you can kind of play around with it if you want, but I wanna just, in this video, just to get something started, I'm gonna go ahead and add a button to this screen. So go ahead and open Content Main. If it's not open, you can open up Layout, and then double click Content Main and it will open it up. And not in text mode, but in design mode, you should see a palette near the top here. And that could be opened or closed. Go ahead and select Common, and then we can just drag a button somewhere. We can drag all kinds of buttons. Um, say we want to drag two buttons. You can just drag them in or whatever. This is kind of a preview of what your app's going to look like. And you'll notice that if we select one of the buttons, it has little blue icons around it. So to position a button um, or in constraint layout, what you can do is look for the little circle on the sides, and then click, drag, and then let go. Click, drag, and then let go, and that'll kind of position your button there. So I'm gonna select that button and hit delete key on my keyboard because I just want one button. But if we go ahead and select it, look over to the right. And if you don't have it open, uh, you might have to open up the attributes panel. And there's a lot of stuff we can style. So if you don't, if you don't have it selected, there's nothing you can do. What you have to do is you have to click on the button, uh, then you'll see all the styles and stuff. So say, huh, what do we want? Maybe we want, where's background color? I saw it somewhere, background. We can click on the little icon right there and we can select a color. So say we want to select that color. That's a good color, I think. And it changed to a background color. Or we can actually select it again. And then there's a uh, text color somewhere. Let's make the text color, let's uh, go under, what should we go under? Let's go under Android here. Let's just select background light. That's uh, FFFF, that's uh, the color there. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this with Command S. Actually, you don't really need to do that. But in this video, I wanna go ahead and run it just to show you how to run it. Okay, so we have, our, we have our nice screen here. This is nothing like what it's gonna look like in a future video, but we at least got something set up. So the first thing we need to do is set up the emulator. I think it's one of these buttons right there. Yeah, AVD, a Android Virtual Device. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And you may see no, no items here. That's because you haven't created any yet. We need to create an emulator to actually run this on. And on that kind of a note, if you want to get a USB cable and plug it into your MacBook Pro or your Windows machine or Linux machine, you can do it that way also. So you'll need a cable. You'll need to enable developer mode on your phone. But for, this pur for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just gonna use the emulator because it'll be a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the run button there and it has a keyboard shortcut there 
but I'm going to go ahead and click run and this screen will open up and this may take a couple of seconds for it to display but if you have any connected devices they'll show up there so if you plugged in your phone to the if you plugged in your phone you'll see it there now see all these devices here this, these are all the ones that I added you're probably not going to see this so what you need to do is come down here to create new virtual device and click it so and this is kind of like a virtual device we can run it on so I'm going to select pixel 2 XL it doesn't really matter what you pick just pick something that's kind of modern um, pixel 2 XL is fine next um, and then this is the kind of version this is the version of Android we want to put on our phone so Pi is fine right now select Pi um, if you if you don't see Pi there you may need to download it like with the download button there but I already have it so I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and if you want we can give it another name but I think that name's fine so I'm gonna hit finish but actually I'm gonna cancel you should you should press finish to finish it but I'm gonna press cancel because I already have one opened up so I'm gonna select this one right here and then again if uh, there's only one the one you just created go ahead and select that and you can check this checkbox use same selection for future launches and every time you run the app again it will automatically open up on this emulator okay so with that selected I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and this may take a couple of minutes and I think it was instant. Is that the app? I think it is. It was instant for me. So depending upon how fast you're, uh, no, it's still building. Sorry. Yeah, I was playing around with other stuff. So just for, just ignore that for just a second. So let's see. If we look at the bottom of Android Studio, it says Gradle build running. So that means it's just getting all the files ready. It's compiling everything. It's working. And if we wait a couple of seconds. Okay, now here we go. So it sh should open up the app, and there's the app with our button. So this is the emulator, and then again, the same thing. If you want to plug in a device to your MacBook Pro or uh, Windows or Linux laptop or desktop or whatever, you can do that. Um, so in this tutorial, we kind of got set up with Android Studio. We got it all installed. We created a button. The button doesn't do anything yet, but hopefully you learned something and you got it running on your first physical device or on your... Uh, emulator like this so then just make sure you just go there and you can create a virtual device that way so hopefully you learned something and I'll see you in the next video